hello y'all hey been a little while hey I'd like to show you what I'll what I've been up to here lately uh, haven't been making any cooking videos but uh I've been uh thinking about camping and uh, traveling this year and I want to show you my new mini camp machine that I have created here I got a request for this video uh, from one feller I'll think of his name here in a minute but anyhow uh, let's check it out what we got here is a 2004 Toyota Highlander that I converted, converted into a little camper here. And I got s solar power and everything here. It's got the solar power up there, 200 watts. I got some portable solar to power in the back here. And uh, here's my bed platform, 200 amp hour lithium batteries diesel heater there cook stove my portable panels that I could set out and everything there's a refrigerator got some fans set up here they work fan Got some USB ports right there. Right here. I got this uh, right here. If I can get this up here. Uh, kind of hard to do with the camera. Okay, I don't have a camera crew going on here. Couldn't get them up. Anyhow, that's a platform. And we got some storage underneath here. My electronics. Solar, we could turn the solar on here. <clears throat> solar switch. We got charging from the alternator on the car. From the car. And we got my fuse block there with all my stuff. And we got a power inverter there. 2000 watt. I've heard a coffee maker and everything. And Maybe even a microwave. I really don't have room for a microwave and everything. And we got a backup Buretti EB70 power station. There, so. We got, we got lights. We got a dimmer switch on them. And turn them up if you want to. Well, one light back there. All right there, that's a, my thermostat control for my heating pads on my battery if it gets below 32 degrees uh, you can't charge lithium batteries so you need you need to heat them up and if I haven't had my heater running my diesel heater um, that will heat up the batteries above freezing and keep them about 40 degrees until we get some heat going on in there like I said, I got, I could tie this up here. I got bungees to hold this up over here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a shelf that slides out here to put my cook stove on there that you see. My two burner cook stove that's right there. I got a fan here. I want to be able to plug it into a... I got a cigarette lighter here that runs off the car battery, but I don't want to use it when I'm out in the woods boondocking. I don't want to take a chance on running down my car battery. And I got all this power back here in the back. So what I'm going to do is put me a cigarette lighter here that runs off the house batteries. And uh, plug it in back here. Let me put that over here then. And uh, what I could do here is when I'm driving to different... Uh, camping locations I could plug in my uh, Buretti power station and it would charge off the car battery when I'm driving so that's what we're going to do there so like I said we got 200 amp hour lithium power queen batteries good outfit to deal with good customer service and right there we got the Renergy 500 amp shunt it measures the 
wattage, power coming in, and power usage. Right, right there. Right there is the monitor. Uh, it, it tell you your percentage of your charge uh, and your discharge, how long it will last at the percentage of discharge that you're using. And right up above that is a thermostat controller for the diesel heater. And down there is your power inverter switch. We'll make sure you got that off when you're not using it because it will drain your battery down a little bit. More lights. There you go. So basically, this is what I've been up to. Just uh, putting this little camper together here. And a little switch there. I guess we covered about everything. And then we got the main breaker switch down there. 200 amp. This system will pull about 200 amps. And I could still use this chair here. I couldn't take out all the chairs. Miss DW would get on me if I took out all the chairs, all the seats in the car. What we can do is put that back. Now, that bungee's around and holds that in place. Anyway, we still got this chair here. That's some. I still have to put up my blackout curtains there. The, the block off the front when I'm uh, stealth camping, maybe in the Walmart parking lot. And I got all the window shades I need to get for all these windows. I'm probably gonna buy the WeatherTech ones that are pre-made pre for this vehicle. They don't cost much more than what it would cost to make them cover all the windows and then maybe put a TV how about a 19 inch TV we could mount, mount us a TV right here or mount it on a swivel back there in that corner right right there have it swing out and you can swing it out and point it Outside where you could sit outside and maybe watch TV. I know what do you say you watch TV when you're camping out You don't need that But anyhow if it's raining you Yeah, also uh, I got a Six inch foam mattress. It's a three layers of foam Mattress to sleep on it's a twin mattress fits in here pretty well Probably have my head up this way have our heads up this way uh, I could put the, the mattress will go up on the refrigerator here. And it, it, it gives you a little headrest there and put your pillow up there. And there's plenty of room. Or you could put your head down there. I think they'd be more shoulder room up front here to where way it comes flares out on the sides. But anyhow, got that mattress. It'll work pretty good. I'll show it to you in maybe some other videos coming up. Main reason why I built this is uh, I got tired of the you know, hundred dollar motel rooms. So uh, you know we could stealth camp in this if I had to. You know, Walmart camping lot, uh, Walmart parking lot. <laughs> it's a camping lot, right? And uh, you know, even Cracker Barrel, different places will let you camp there and everything. You know, you won't have to pay a hundred dollars just for a few hours sleep and everything. Uh, also campgrounds with electricity, $30 or more for it, something like that. I hate having to pay for all that. You know, when you're on the road, you know, you just pull over in a lot and sleep, or you know, if you're out in the woods somewhere. So this will pay for itself in, heck, just a month's worth of camping, I guess. Yeah, we'll see, but anyway. Yeah, let me know what you think of this. I think I'll enjoy it. And you know, we'll do some stuff on the road. And like I said, we're, we're going to cook and everything back there in the back. So, But anyhow, yeah, I, I got a few requests for this video. Um, 
a couple friends requested it and some YouTuber subscribers requested it. So just thought I'd show it to you. That's what DW's been up to. So maybe next time you'll see me on the road. We'll try it out. All right? Well, y'all take care out there. I'll talk to you soon.